I'm honestly very surprised that I was able to set the goals that I did and accomplish them. I've never been much for doing anything, honestly. Most of my life has just been me wasting away, you know, playing video games, drinking and partying and not doing a whole lot. I never set out to get an education. I never really had any goals or aspirations. I honestly was just pretty happy coasting by, working the little jobs that I did, making the little money that I was making, and that was good enough for me. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that I know everything. I'm not a guru. I'm just a regular dude who decided to start getting stuff done. I don't know exactly when it happened, but around 28 years old, I started training Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And that kind of sparked a new interest that I'd never had before. And I really, really got into it, like really got into it. Like I was going every single day. I started competing. I started eating good and I stopped playing so many video games and I stopped kind of slacking off so much because I was very eager to go and train once or twice a day, five, six times a week. And it kind of consumed my life. At this point, I was listening to a lot of Joe Rogan and I was listening to like a lot of motivational people on YouTube and I hadn't decided to learn how to code yet. This was probably one of the reasons why I decided to learn how to code later on. But at this point, I was 28, 29. I had started working at the strip club where I was parking cars at and I found a new hobby. And this was something that was different for me because up until then, my main hobby was playing video games. That's pretty much all I ever did with my free time. If I wasn't out drinking with my friends, I was at home drinking and smoking weed and playing video games. And when I picked up jujitsu, it kind of changed something in me. I don't, I don't know what it was. There was something about going to the gym and getting my ass kicked and going back for more and knowing that if I kept showing up, I would get better. Eventually, I was able to start giving the people that were kicking my ass a little bit of trouble, and the more I went, the better I got. I transferred some of that over into learning how to code, and I started applying kind of like the same mentality that if I kept showing up and I kept working hard, that eventually the stuff that was kicking my ass would get a little bit easier, and eventually I would start getting it, and eventually I would get better. And that's kind of the recipe I applied. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that I know everything. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that I have it all figured out. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that I read all these self-help books, although I did read a few, but I, I don't know what I'm doing, right? I'm 35 years old, 36, and I, I'm just getting started. And it's kind of crazy that it took me so long. You know, I'm a late bloomer, I guess, but what I'm trying to say is that if you're right now in a state where you feel like you're not ever going to get there, that you feel like you're just not good enough, that you feel like you don't have it in you, you're not a motivated person. I was never a motivated person. Eventually something clicked. Something happened. It was jujitsu for me. It was learning to code for me. Now it's YouTube and the next thing will come. And I keep applying that kind of mindset where I know that if I just keep showing up, I'll be okay. And eventually I'll get good enough at what I'm doing and want to pursue something else or pursue what I'm doing even deeper. And maybe that's, that's all you needed to hear. Maybe that's, that's all I needed to hear back then. I remember I would listen to a lot of people that were motivational and were talking about how they did it. And many people try to claim that they have a recipe for this stuff. I don't think there's a recipe for this stuff. I think that it's just eventually something in you is going to tell you that you've had enough that you don't want to do what you've been doing, that you're tired of the life you've been living and you want to do something better. And this video is going to be not really that much about code, although I am talking about how I learned how to code and how I got motivated for it. But it's more to kind of just let you know that right now, if you're feeling like you can't do something, don't worry, your time will come. Just as long as you know that that's what you want and you keep thinking that and eventually you start making small steps towards that and you start making a little bit of progress. It doesn't happen overnight. Nothing happens overnight. That's a lazy person's mentality. That's a dumb way of thinking. Nothing good ever happens overnight unless you get really lucky and then it doesn't last. 
Everything that's worth having, you got to work for. And everything that you work for is worth having. There's no special sauce. There's no secret. There's nothing to what I did. And that's really it. And if you're looking at me and you're like, I don't know how this guy did it. I wish I could do it. Trust me, you can. I, I don't know how I did it either. <laughs> but with all that said, you know, if this video helped you out, just let me know in the comments. I'm, I'm really happy that I can help people out. But a lot of people think like I'm this motivational speaker and like I'm trying to inspire people. And I am in a way, but at the same time, I'm, I'm just a regular guy who turned on a camera and started uploading videos to YouTube. So take what I say with a grain of salt. If it helps you out, that's cool too. With all that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.